Welcome back Turtleholics. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing turtle respiratory infections. It's unfortunately a very common disease among pet turtles and also one of the most fatal. Today, I'm going to be reviewing how to recognize that your turtle has a respiratory infection as well as what you can do at home to try to help treat it. So when a turtle develops a respiratory infection, it usually stems from a bacterial infection. And essentially what this does is that it causes their respiratory tract, so how they breathe, it can cause a lot of inflammation and then it can also cause a lot of excess mucus, which can make it very hard for your turtle to breathe. So when it comes to the symptoms, a lot of times a turtle with a respiratory infection is gonna have a lot of labored breathing, which means they're gonna be struggling to breathe. They might make some weird noises. They might be gasping for air. A lot of times they might also reach out their neck just trying to get as much air as possible. And another telltale sign of a respiratory infection is if your turtle's eyes start to swell up. And unfortunately, they can actually swell up so much that your turtle can't even open their eyes. And if you also look at their face too, a lot of times the excess mucus that is caused by the respiratory infection can cause a lot of buildup of residue on their face. So that could come from their nose, their eyes, or even their mouth. And also, if you take a look at your turtle's behavior and you notice something's different, for example, they might start swimming kind of erratically or lopsided. A lot of times that can be caused by a respiratory infection. And then also if they become lethargic, so if they just stop moving around either on the basking platform or don't really swim as much anymore, that could be a sign. And then lastly, um, if the respiratory infection is pretty advanced, it can lead to them losing their appetite and they might just stop eating altogether. Now I do want to make this clear and before I get into the steps for home treatment, if you suspect that your turtle does have a respiratory infection, you definitely should take it to the vet as soon as possible. Um, a lot of times they're going to administer antibiotics or other medication that might be the only way to help save your turtle. So if you have the option of going to the vet, please do so. But if you can't, whether it's a money situation or maybe there's not one close to you, there are a couple things that you can do to try to help your turtle survive. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is clean your tank and that's going to start with a water change. So that can be replacing anywhere from 25 to 75% of your water and replacing it with fresh water. Secondly, you should also check your filter, probably clean your filter, make sure that it's still operating properly so that it can properly filter out the waste in your tank. And then also clean up any other debris or waste that might be floating around your tank. You might also need to clean up your turtle, for example. So if they have, like I mentioned, any sort of mucus or residue that's drying up on their face, then you are gonna wanna kinda get that off. So you can use like a toothbrush or a soft paintbrush to try to get that away so it'll make it easier for them to see and to breathe. Next, you're gonna wanna increase your water temperature to up to around 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that your basking platform has a temperature around 95, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason for this is because a turtle's immune system is gonna be able to fight off infection better in warm temperatures. So that's why you just wanna make sure that you're giving them the best chance. And I've never tried this before, but some people have had success with actually putting a humidifier in the room of the turtle tank to help thin out the turtle's mucus, make it easier for them to breathe. Like I said, I haven't tried this, but if you want to help increase the humidity in your room, you can do that. But just make sure you don't put the humidifier directly next to the turtle tank, but just in somewhere in the room. Now, in terms of diet, if your turtle is still eating their normal food, then most likely you can just keep on giving them that. Um, but I will say, if your turtle does have swollen eyes, that could be a sign that they actually have a vitamin A deficiency, which in that case, you're just going to want to go double check and make sure that the food you're giving them has vitamin A. Every single turtle food should have on the back the ingredient list. And if your turtle food does not have vitamin A, I recommend this Saki Hikari turtle food. It has a decent amount of vitamin A and you can just buy it on Amazon. There's also some vitamin A turtle eye drops that you can find on Amazon, which might also help with the vitamin A deficiency. Now, if your turtle is not eating anything right now, then that is an issue. It could be a sign that they have an advanced infection. Um, if that's the case, I would just suggest trying to feed them a bunch of different types of food. So hopefully you have, you know, a couple different types of pellets that you can try. And then if they're not touching those, maybe try some other types of vegetables or maybe even some treats. So like some freeze dried insects. And also if your turtle is not eating, you can also try giving them a appetite stimulant. There's a bunch of different options on Amazon that you can choose from. Now, in terms of medication, like I said in the beginning, if it is a respiratory infection caused by a bacterial infection, um, you are going to need an antibiotic to help treat it. They do almost always require a vet prescription. But just so you're aware, a lot of times a vet will prescribe Batril to a turtle with a respiratory infection. And Batril is essentially just a pretty strong antibiotic that can help your turtle fight off the bacterial infection. 
And after doing some research, I also read on some other forums that there are a couple other antibiotics that people have used to help fight off respiratory infection in turtles. I'll put those on the screen, but I will say with a disclaimer, I have not tried it, and it's probably not best to try any of these without consulting a vet first. Um, but if you do end up giving antibiotic to your turtle, just make sure that you're giving them the right dosage. Obviously, turtles are very small, so you want to make sure that you're not giving them too much of the medication. That being said, there are some other things that you can try to treat it with. For example, there's this Amber Naturals, which is like a herbal medicine, which can help support respiratory function, um, which can make it easier for your turtle to breathe. Now, in terms of isolating or quarantining your turtle, um, for starters, if you do have other turtles in the tank, then you absolutely should remove the sick turtle because respiratory infections are very contagious. So if that's the case, just put it in a smaller tank or a smaller area. Um, with a little bit of water and a basking platform just to get them away from the other turtles. Um, in terms of dry docking, it's kind of controversial. Um, there are, I guess, some advantages of dry docking. For example, you can regulate the temperature and make sure that it's warm, and it also will prevent your turtle from drowning if their limbs get really weak. But on the flip side, dry docking can also lead to dehydration for your turtle. And on top of that, it can cause a lot of stress, which can weaken their immune system. So I would recommend staying away from it unless a vet advises you to do so. Now, lastly, how to prevent respiratory infections in the future. The biggest thing is just keeping a clean and healthy environment for your turtle. So that includes having a strong filter that's filtering out all the waste, doing regular water changes at least every one to two weeks, doing spot checks, cleaning up waste that just kind of pops to the top of the tank. Um, you also want to make sure that whenever you put anything inside your tank, whether it's decorations, driftwood, uh, food, really anything that goes in your tank, you want to make sure that you're washing it off beforehand just to make sure that no foreign bacteria or dangerous bacteria is going to enter your tank, which could eventually lead to a bacterial infection for your turtle. And just to add, you should make sure that your basking platform has both UVA and UVB light pointing at it. Just to reiterate one last time, it is best if you can find a way to get your turtle to the vet. Um, I know the prices can definitely vary depending on where you live, um, but sometimes it can be as cheap as only $50 or $60 for a visit. Obviously, it can get more expensive up to $150 or $200, but I would recommend just calling into the nearest reptile vet, letting them know the situation that you suspect that it is a respiratory infection, and maybe just ask them how much they would charge you if you were to get uh, prescribed some antibiotics for your turtle. Thank you so much for watching. If possible, please go give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.